Woo! What's going on? YouTube is Dottie B all day. Bringing you a review today. Something that has a blade, but it's not a blade. You can see it in the description. It's a chainsaw. But I'm bringing you a different kind of chainsaw. I brought you... Everybody brings you those gas power chainsaws. That's why we have Brody, that hammer man. He, he brings you all the chainsaws. And, uh, but what most people don't bring you is like the unorthodox chainsaws. I'm bringing you a corded chainsaw. And what happens is you go to the store and it's like, you're looking at 250 bucks for a chainsaw and you're thinking to yourself, well, I have like four trees in my yard and I need some trimming or, or I have a, a small tree that needs to come down or this one can even take up to a 30 inch tree, which is pretty good. It's got a 16 inch blade on it. But here's the deal. You can go out and spend 250 bucks on a gas power chainsaw that you might sit there and go like this for seven years trying to start it. Um, but if you're not really out in the woods or doing a professional job, who cares? All you really need is something that's gonna get the job done. If you're talking about your private property somewhere where maybe you have an acre of land and you need some tree work done, you don't really need to go out and spend a ton of money, do you? Well, let's find out. So what I have here, it's called a home light. And I picked this up right at uh, Home Depot. This was $80. $80 for chainsaw and does it do that yeah because I already tested it and I tested it on some very good hardwood and some fairly freshy stuff on a bunch of um, sycamore and I'm gonna show you because we're gonna cut some more and then we're gonna cut some sappy stuff and I'm gonna show you how it goes to there now let's go it's a uh, 16 inch 12 amp right so here's the deal when you're plugging it in you want to make sure that you have at least a 12 amp, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Extension cord, right? So I got a 16 gauge. This is, I think, a 13 amp. And I, I have 200 foot cords because I have an acre. And listen to this. Meryl. That was the, the little guard that was on there. You see how easy that is? No pulling no extra anything and talk about ease of work so here's your oil the oil right here your bar and chain lube here's your fill this is all all the parts that you need to know take this off you can fill some oil okay well that was easy so this is a tensioner for the chain chain starts to get loosened tighten it right here you don't have to take anything apart this right here takes this black cover off to get you inside of there right so if you need to change the chain or if you need to get a new blade, check this out right there. You can clean it with a stick from in here. You take this off and it's just unscrew it and this pops right off. Then you clean it. I already did it. It's easy. So basically what you have is a lefty, righty, doesn't matter what hand you are operation. And it's that easy. There's a little button right here. There's a trigger right here. This button goes in. You don't need to keep holding that. You just, all you need is the trigger. Once that button, that button just helped to get ignited. Now, how heavy is it? Well, you can make a one-handed cut. And I know this because I already did it and I'm gonna show you. So, as far as burning it out, what I was told was never overfill the oil. So what I've been doing is filling it at around three quarters and it will drink some oil, so you you know make sure you have a quarter oil on there. And again, if if you have a need for something like this, you're not doing 600 trees. Um, I have I think three or four that are down, and I have all the confidence in the world that this is going to be able to take care of three or four trees, no problem. And for 80 bucks over 250, oh hell yeah! So it's quiet enough to where you're not gonna. You're not going to wake the neighbors, you know what I mean? It's not going to kill the neighborhood. I am wearing a leather. You're probably thinking, oh, it's really sunny out there today, and, and he's got a leather. Once you start cutting and all the sawdust hits you, those little sappy pieces, it's a lot easier to wipe off leather than it is your T-shirt. I found out. So what I'm going to do is we're first going to cut a couple pieces of sycamore. I'm going to show you that. Then we're going to go and we're going to cut uh, color, uh, some sappy pieces. Okay, so... You're all with me, yeah, you're counting down. So I cut a bunch of this stuff yesterday, and this right here is about a 10 inch log, right? So some of your small trees, this is what you're looking at, like a 10 inch tree. 
and I decided maybe I might even cut some of these, sand them down, put a little stain or lacquer on them and make them for uh, when you put your pot down at your house, you know what I mean? Keep everything from burning. So I might make a few of those out of this. But let's get into this chainsaw. Now I cut all this yesterday, there's a whole bunch of them, you know what I mean? And uh, some of the bigger pieces too, which is over 10 inches, it was no problem, it was a breeze, it went right through. And I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to work this saw against the wood and how well it actually cuts. Now, people say, oh, but you know, what about a chainsaw with a cord, it gets in your way. I had no problems with the cord getting in my way the entire time I cut. I do it one hand, no problem. It does have the, the guard against the rear. It's nice and simple. It has the front guard so you don't bang your, uh, so you don't bang your saw into the cement. And just like that, you're seeing a tree. So now if this tree was standing like this, you know what I mean? Let's put it back together. So this tree is standing, this is a big piece right here. So that tree is standing, you need to cut down a tree, timber. Um, it's that easy. This saw, I got no loosening in the blade from doing those cuts. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I did a bunch of cuts over where we're gonna go yesterday and the thing held up, I mean, flawless. You see what it's doing right now? It's flawless. And this is a big, big, heavy, and hard ugh, tree. Woo! Let's show you. Let's show you what we got here. Let's show you. <laughs> got it, it, it's just easy to use I mean it's the easiest to start pretty much of, of any um, any chainsaw out there Man. Just keep going through. 80 bucks That's it, $80. Now I don't want to pinch my, my saw, so I'm just gonna put that right there, a little leverage. I don't want to pinch it. <laughs> Boom, look at that. Oh, but it has a cord on it, yeah, who cares? Um, this is this is cutting nice hardwood, really, really clean, really, really easy. So now let's go do some of the uh, sticky, goopy, sappy stuff. All right, hold on. All right, so as you can see, yesterday, all this, all that was connected to up there. I just came down and just went through it just to give it a little test. So today, we're gonna double down on that test and I'm gonna cut just a couple of these, uh, these big fat pieces right here. So let's uh, put you guys over here in a safe location. Safe from me, really, because the saw is not dangerous. <laughs> The guy using it is kind of mental. <laughs> so let's uh, let's figure this out. I got the cord. I got plenty of it, all stretched out. What I want to do is take down this big piece, big branch hanging out. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? Guys, this is a tree. This is a full tree. So, this isn't just your pruning saw. This is your actual saw. This is your cut down a tree saw. And what I have here on the ground next to me, and I'll, I'll show you, is 
uh, another tree and it's about a 12 inch so it's a little bit bigger than the other one and uh we're just gonna go ahead and go through some of it here if i can get you guys all down low enough to see it there we go there we go so let's get through this guy right here this is part of this is one of the old ones that used to be up there we're just gonna take it apart. Once again, you got a full tree sitting there. That tree is gonna come down and this saw is gonna be the one to do it for 80 freaking dollars. Now, I'm just gonna do one more, one more cut. And uh, I'm gonna show you, this is the full base of the tree right here. just sawed through an entire tree that just sawed through an entire tree right there and uh no freaking problem blade is still good and tight i've still got over half uh, of oil it's looking good it's doing good and i mean to be able to use a chainsaw with one hand to be able to just <laughs> do that I tell you man it doesn't get much better than that as far as chainsaw goes, this makes life easy. So if you have some some trees that need to be come down, or you have some stuff that needs to be um, at least pruned, anything like that, this is good for all of that. Now, normally on a chainsaw, this is a like a safety break. You don't need that on this because all you have to do ah! is let go. That's it. It's that simple. Um, this thing so far is sturdy. It's easy to use, it's lightweight, it's crazy easy to start. And as you can see, it really works. Um, don't overfill your oil and don't really press into things. Let the blade do the work. The problem is people get a little too anxious and they try and dig in harder, harder, harder and make it go faster. You don't need to, just let the blade do the work. That's what it's made for. So that's it, that's the Home Light 16 inch, 400 millimeter plug-in corded chainsaw. And you've seen the cord did not give me any problems. I, I didn't run into any issues with the cord. Um, you know, as long as the cord is behind and under you, then it doesn't matter because the saw is going this way, right? The cord never comes into play. So, um, so that's it. Here's your here's your uh, guard right there. Your, your little teeth to grab on. Um, it, it's a it's a pretty decent chainsaw for eighty freaking dollars. You're not going to get a better chainsaw for eighty bucks. I tell you that right now. Um, pretty good. So they have them at Home Depot. It's, uh, man, I like it. So that's it. We're going to go cut down some more of these trees. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of them, got a whole bunch of them, knock some of these limbs off. And then I'm going to take some limbs and I'm going to do some knife reviews by hacking some limbs. All right. So that's it for me. I'm Donnie B all day till next video.